I'd recommend you know staying in touch with your uh, teammates, uh, with your coaches, and your your athletic trainer, and coming up with a regimen that you can do individually at home or with a partner or a teammate, and coming up with a plan just to focus on sports specific drills or even to target uh, weaknesses in that sport where you there's room to improve on. Although you might want to focus on your weaknesses, it's important not to forget about your strengths and to kind of keep practicing those things as well. But the main stem, I think the main goal would be to just overall stay active. You don't want to go back and go from zero to 100% right away. You want to gradually get back into the rhythm of things, get your body used to the mechanics and the way it works when you do that or when you participate in that particular sport. You want to work with your trainer or, or teammates and target sport-specific exercises or even sport-specific therapies to help your, your body get back into playing condition, especially at 100%. During the off season, uh, especially in sports that might be year round or might have a long in season, uh, you want to take a break from certain activities and maybe still stay active, but maybe participate in a different sport uh, just to keep uh, well rounded. Um, and, you, and that'll help prevent overtraining or overuse injuries as well. You're going to know your body, you know, most people will know if something's really wrong and it's always important to trust your gut. You know, at the end of the day, uh, you, you might see your physician or you might speak to your athletic trainer and it might not be, it might not be anything to worry about, but you don't want to miss something that could potentially be dangerous or scary.